Hi there, it's me, Beth Maitland from Drama Queen Bee Quilt Studio. And you guys liked so much our little shop hop that we are gonna go and try another. So we are on our way up to North County, North San Luis Obispo County to a little village, actually it's a bigger town, called Paso Robles. Patty Claude, one of our viewers and one of my friends um, from uh, social media, has suggested that we give a couple of Paso stores a try. And so we are about to climb in the car and head up to North County and uh, have another little adventure. Cross everything that this works out really well and that the shop owners don't mind us taking a quick video to share with you. In the meantime, I hope that uh, everything goes smoothly and we have some special surprises in North County shops to um, share with you very shortly. Uh, stay tuned, here we go. Okay, the very first place on our list was the Quiltery and that is an old town Paso Robles and in the shopping center in which it's located there's also a little coffee shop lunch and breakfast place so you could stop here for lunch and then go in for some shopping let's go inside so I have Brenda and Sandy wave everybody hi hi, hi Emmy <laughs> shopping hi. like crazy <laughs> <laughs> And Brenda, is your mom the long armor? Yes. Do you guys take in orders? Um, we do actually, yes. Fantastic. I'll make sure and mention. Yes, she does. Um, it's all machine clothing. She has all the patterns here. So is that is it um, computerized? I mean, I mean, sorry, not machine. Computerized. Fantastic. I'm a long armor too, but I'm the opposite. I'm no computers, all hand driven. She did that forever and ever. And Sandy <laughs> talked her into doing the computer and she never oh, went back. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, no question is faster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amelia, you're going to have to get a job. <laughs> it's an expensive hobby. Yeah. <laughs> And I love, I just want to mention this to anybody that might call an order online or something, um, that you have all these extra cuts of extra wide, beautiful extra wide backing. They're Thank you. Three yeah. yard bundles, just the right size. I picked up two myself and they're just perfect. Oh, look at that green polka dot at the bottom. I might may be getting another one. Two yards of these? Yes. And here's some cave. This is a really lovely selection of curated. Um, there's lots of Riley Blakes, lots of modern. Yes, this is and, beautiful. And Charlene's prices are uh, very twenty five percent cheaper than the the next competitors. Quilt, yeah. quilt store here. You'll find that out. <laughs> yeah. Lots and lots of fun here. And it looks like there might be a featherweight box or two. And I see your polka dot featherweight. For all of you fans, there's a black and white polka dot. I have a bright pink one. And the long arm station is back here. So if you wander in on the right day, you might get to see it work. Okay, so um, I'm editing and uh, putting together my little bits and pieces, so I wanted to give you a quick review um, of our experience at the first stop, the Quiltery. The ladies were fantastic. It was a super fun experience. Helpful, um, chatty, lovely. It's small, but it is really, really, like I said uh, in the live video, well curated. The collections um, all are very well represented. There's beautiful solids. There's beautiful um, selections from each new line. There's lots of pre-cuts. Um, there aren't a lot of patterns and kits. There aren't a lot of notions, but the experience was fantastic. Uh, at the end of our um, time there, as we were finishing up my cutting, of my purchases, um, the the owner of the shop came in, who's the long armor, and uh, we had a lovely chat with her. She's a part of a quilt shop hop that will happen um, in, I think maybe early June, 
and um, they're reopening, I guess, uh, for this to for people to be able to go all the way down. There's uh, from Morro Bay all the way down to Carpinteria. I think there are seven or eight shops involved, and they're in some an association, and so they're getting ready to have a big sale on that day. So um, I don't know if you guys want to uh, are interested in that sort of thing. If there's anybody local that wants to participate, um, the information is available on their website, the Quiltery in Paso Robles, and. Um, I'm not really great at putting everything in the notes below, but I'll try to remember to do that. Um, and I, so I wanted to also tell you, it was probably one of a super, super uh, highlight of the day. Um, the next quilt shop we're going to visit is quite beautiful and they are very well represented online. And um, I will um, give you my review before you see it on that one, just so I don't have to cut and, and come back and do that again. Um, it was lovely, but it was not nearly as personal and fun an experience. The shop is huge and old. It's in the very, very cute brick front um, old town of uh, Paso Robles and very cute. But um, the girls were very busy filling online orders, which has kept them afloat during COVID. And so that seems to be their priority. Um, and that was a little disappointing that we did not get a lot of personal attention. We did not get a lot of advice or chat. Um, the owner was there and cut Amelia's fabric and she was lovely and asked uh, Emmy what she was making with the things she bought and, and that sort of thing. Um, but it was um, a little uh, focused on online. The Cutting tables were loaded with fabrics that were being pulled to uh, cut for their online clients. I found a Robert Kaufman version of Liberty Fabric. It's not officially from London, but it's their uh, Tana Lawn. And so I, I was wanting that for a backing for the Liberty Fabrics that we've been working with and things I'm about to do. Um, and they couldn't sell it to me because they had to check the uh, in the back to see if it had been sold online and was awaiting a long arm, I mean, a, an online order. So it was not nearly as uh, fun as I had hoped for looking at the outside and being a part of that old town vibe, lots of places down there to uh, do other shopping, not necessarily for fabrics. Uh, there were lots of places to get a bite outdoors. Um, there were all kinds of little, um, uh, there was a microbrewery a half a block down the way, across kitty corner, across the street. There was an outdoor, almost like a food truck, but permanent, a little place to get hamburgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, coffees, um, something cold to drink. So there were lots of little fun places to wander around in Old Town Paso. Um, but but, but I would definitely say that the quiltery was a highlight of our visit. Um, Birch was beautiful. And if you're on your own and don't mind just wandering the aisles and picking for yourself, um, then uh, Birch was a, a beautiful destination shop. Um, a larger, a lot of notions, a larger quantity. Um, but uh, as the uh, cashier in the first shop predicted, their prices were a little bit higher as well. Uh, at the quiltery, the they um, the cave I think was eight fifty a yard, which is stunning. That's almost Joanne Fabrics prices. Um, so that is my um, review of our two stops on our shop hop. But please stay tuned and take a look at Birch. It's beautiful. The the we pulled around the corner. I've got some exterior shots for you. And then when we went inside, the two staircases up to the second level, which are offices, not fabric, where it just is, the setting is just fantastic. The store is full, full, full of fabric, although it did not seem fully stocked, very low uh, um, um, mode of fabric, but they also specialize in some modern things. They had some Japanese fabrics, which are fun to take a look at. Uh, I don't know if there are modern quilters out there who are big fans. Um, I love to, to try them out. They had cotton and steel. They had um, they had um, Alexander Henry, who we love from the what are there the he has hilarious modern characters. Oh, I can't think of what they're called. <laughs> the Gastleys. There we go. He had they had a lovely uh, hilarious selection of Gastly. Uh, fabrics and some um, hipster mermen and mermaids tattoo art uh, from Alexander Henry, who's just so talented and fun. But um, so, so um, g very different uh, uh, atmospheres and that's probably what makes the world go round. So take a look, keep watching. Up next, Birch Fabrics in Old Town Paso. And just around the corner, 
Birch Fabrics. We're so excited. And this also is like a little turn right, then your destination. This is the beautiful Birch Fabrics in Old Town, Paso Robles. Look how cute, and there's a fabulous selection, including organic, home deck, apparel, and quilting fabric. So that concludes our day trip uh, to North San Luis Obispo County. And um, I hope that you've had fun like we did uh, shopping for things and finding new spots, new places to see um, as the country and certainly our state of California. Apparently the reopening is now scheduled for June 15th uh, as the world starts to reopen and we start finding our normal. It's really fun to know that we have some destination places that will service our needs, um, whatever they may be, that will um, give us some um, things to focus on in a positive way, things about our hobbies, our creativity, our vocations and avocations. And I'm really glad to see that we are going to be able very soon um, to move around again and travel freely and being a, be able to uh, interact. I, I'm just about to join some local quilting guilds, which have been sort of shut down during COVID and doing Zoom meetings. I have a Zoom meeting appointment for a local guild uh, next Thursday. So looking forward very much to being able to have some of the uh, companionship and sisterhood that we look forward to when we do a hobby like this. And like I've said before, quilters, I've, I rarely have met an unfriendly quilter. Quilters are generous and caring, creative, fun, reach out, um, give, give, give. And I'm so glad to be among all of you. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, number 18, our um, North County Shop Hop. This is Beth Maitland from Drama Queen Bee Quilts.